Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So, um, apologize ahead of time if I fuck anything up, but we just got off a 20 hour stream, so I'm kind of exhausted. But I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with day one uh, in the, in the uh, Harbinger League Hardcore. Hardcore Harbinger League HHC. There we go. So this is the uh, new build that I've created. It's called Berserker Righteous Fire Capo. Um, and I want to run you guys down with what I have at the moment. So currently we are running with Bright Beak for our weapon. Some shit gloves that I crafted at level 39 that have been with us this entire way because that's what I use Righteous Fire in. Um, it's pretty cool because there are these new orbs like Orb of Binding, which you can use to basically upgrade an item into a rare and then you get a four link right away so i use this all the way up until i crafted this helmet which is a essence of horror helmet which is the exact same as an essence of delirium it's just you can put it in a helmet but helmets are harder to craft so i recommend doing it in gloves but the price on gloves is way more expensive so i went with that we've got a typical belt of the deceiver ended up buying calm's roots these were like 10c uh the essence of horror was 15c the Shaper Seed, which I'm dropping soon, was 3C. Rise of the Phoenix was 22 Chaos. Um, and we're saving up a bit more Chaos because next up I'm going to try to either get a Belly of the Beast and or a Combs Heart and or... I don't really know what comes next, to be honest. I have to figure out. Um, maybe, maybe like proper jewels. So in terms of our passive tree, I actually did level a little bit different than the YouTube video. So the way I leveled, just to give you guys a quick rundown, is I simply started from life and armor, went through warrior's blood, connected into armor mastery this way, uh, went up, did all the bullshit up here, right? After I got everything up here, I branched out down this way, respect out of here, came down, and then got this whole section here. And now I'm working on getting better jewels. Uh, this is just a shit anatomical knowledge. It just gives me some HP for people who are curious. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Let me just go over my gear really fast one more time. Um, links are the same as pretty much always. Remember that you can actually see my profile now, guys. You can type exclamation mark profile on uh, my uh, Twitch stream, and you can see all my gear and everything. So let me go ahead and show you guys in a quick map so I don't really have anything too crazy. Um, I can show you guys the shore map I was going to run. Here you go. This is a T8 map. We're level 81. We don't have our Uber Lab yet. Uh, we just have our normal and cruel lab. Uber Lab is going to be our right of ruin. But here we go. Uh, I'm also not going to spend this skill point yet because I don't remember where exactly it is going at the moment. I think it's going to be like attack speed into here or something. Oh, I remember now. Uh, I need to get a Witchfire Brew. Be oh, whoops, that's not it. I need to get a Witchfire Brew because uh, Witchfire will allow me to switch up my aura setup. So my aura setup is a little different as well. Oh, there's a Harbinger pack right there. Um, I am actually not running Vitality. Oh, what the fuck is this? I am not running Vitality, and instead of Vitality, I am running Blasphemy Flammability. Once I'm able to grab a Witchfire, uh, Witchfire Brew, I'll drop my Blasphemy Flammability, and instead I will run a uh, Witchfire Brew. That will be good to go. Nice. I also do want to upload my Act 9 and Act 10 fights for you guys, so I'm going to have to uh, check that out. The only problem is I got copied, well, I, one of my uh, things ended up playing the wrong audio, so I'm going to have to, like, I guess give a, give a, uh, I don't know how to, exp I'm going to have to, like, speak over it, basically, but that shouldn't really be too bad. Oh. So these Harbinger guys are pretty interesting. The way they work is there's an invulnerable Harbinger. You can see him right here. And he will constantly just spawn fucking mobs and adds. And the only way to hurt the Harbinger, or to kill the Harbinger as well, is to kill the mobs that he spawns. You have to be careful though because like he can be really like freaking annoying if he spawns like... I, I believe he resurrects the monsters that are in the map. So if there's like Necromancers, he'll like raise Necromancers which will curse you. Uh, which can be very scary depending on like, you know, the elemental damage that's being dealt in the area. You also have to be careful of like, oh, whoa, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> of like colossal bone stalkers and stuff as well. 
Why am I lagging all of a sudden, too? What is going on? All right. Okay, let me just slowly... I'm gonna have to go back for that shrine. Decoy totem up there. Nice. Okay, that's actually the map boss. Let me just pop in our conch effect for that. So I'm gonna just play this really defensive because I don't wanna get like destroyed by a spectral throw. Okay, let's let that ghost go. Oh fuck, I killed it that fast? Okay, never mind then shit. All right. Nice. Cool. So that's pretty much how the build performs right now. I mean, you guys, I'm sure I've seen a bunch of RF content on my channel already, uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the progress. Now, something else I want to go ahead and add in a little twist up because this isn't supposed to be like a build guide or anything, but I want to show you guys some of the places that I decided to level up in um, and the reasons why. So first off, I want to show you Super awesome density area number one. Um, so super awesome density area number one, I believe is a level 60, I think it's a 61 zone. Let me see. So act nine, bloody aqueduct, 61 area. Okay, bloody aqueduct is absolutely bonkers for density for a 61 area. So check this out, you got a pack. Pack, pack, blue pack, pack, pack with a rare, another pack. This is guaranteed blue pack on the edges to the right always. Uh, another like fucking three or four packs over here. I think that was a blue pack hiding inside here. <laughs> this place is awesome for a low level, man. Uh, I've also got, let's see, pack, pack, pack. And then you've got blue packs on the side always. Ooh, I'll show you And then blue packs on the right. Perfect. Let me just do this quick trade. Chat or YouTube, please don't hate me. This is a uh, part of uh, the economy, okay? I have to make sure I'm uh, doing my job here. Circle gold. He wants hypnotic circle gold ring. Oh, yo, I got the, I got the mirrored ones right here. Feels good. Okay, so the next one I want to show you. Uh, SS. Okay, the next one I want to show you is... Um, okay, the Desecrated Chambers. Now, this is a level 65 area. And the Desecrated Chambers can also double as the Chamber of Innocence at level 43. So, let me go ahead and just show you guys what this one looks like at 65. Now this place is a bit more upset. Uh, the mobs here do hit a little bit harder. So 
So you can see the density is pretty nice. Uh, the only thing that's annoying is there's definitely more gaps before you fight mobs here. Uh, and then there's the whole like... I don't know the proper way to clear this because there's like an inner and an outer. Like here it would be like an, I guess, outer, right? And there's blue packs. I think there's almost always blue packs in the corners here. So then there's like, you can go out this way. Or if you didn't want to go this way, you can see there's like a cut in right over where my webcam is. You could like sneak in through there. I don't know which way uh, is the most optimal way to take, to be honest. But anyway, um, you pretty much keep going through here, killing as you go, with pretty pretty decent density. But the main thing about this place that I like is the ending of it, because the ending has a guaranteed three blue packs. Oh. Hello there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Harbinger. Nice. And that should be right about here. All right, so you're always going to find a blue pack in the middle here. You're always going to find a blue pack on the left side here. And you're always going to find a blue pack on the right side hugging inside here too. Uh, and this, the same thing applies to the Chamber of Innocence uh, as well as the Desecrated Chamber as well. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to uh, show you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions about whatever, please feel free to drop them down below. I'm going to go pass out because I just had a 20 hour stream. Um, so when I wake up, I'll probably you know answer all the questions and then boot the stream up again. But that's pretty much about it. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Before I go, though, I just want to show you guys some new currency if you guys are not familiar with it. So there is the Ancient Orb, um, which reforges a unique item as another of the same item class. There is the Harbinger Orb, reforges a map as another of a higher tier. I don't know what a nullment is, I forgot, but I have it right here. Uh, I've got some Ancient Shards, some Regal Shards, some Harbinger Shards, some Exalted Shards, uh, Engineer Shards, Horizon Shards, Binding Shards, Orb of Horizon, which reforges a map item as another of the same tier. Engineering Orb improves the quality of a strong box. Uh, Orb of Binding, which is the cool one, which upgrades a normal item into a rare with up to uh, four, with up to four link sockets. I always thought it was guaranteed four link. Anyway, though, uh, that's pretty much about it now. So hope you guys had a wonderful time and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.